Hello, Paxson families and community. This is Peter here on a Monday afternoon. I'm going to be putting this out on YouTube. Starting this year, I'm going to be putting out on a weekly basis, just a little short little videos, five minute videos or so, telling you about things happening at school, primarily academically happening at school, um, just so you have a sense of what is going on within the walls of Paxson. Uh, each year, we, we send out a survey to parents. I'm sure several of you took it last year. And one of the areas where we scored better on last year than the year before, but we still didn't um, do particularly well on, at least in my mind, is a question that said, I know the goals that my school is working on. And so part of my reason for doing this is I want you all to be in the know uh, about what the goals our school is working on. So the first one I'm going to talk about today is the framework we are using school-wide and district-wide, really, for teaching literacy and literacy strategies. It's something called the Daily Five. It is an evidence-based practice that comes from two practitioners um, who wrote a book called The Daily Five that's really, um, and has spread and become pretty widespread since the district this year has adopted Daily Five Again, not as a curriculum, but it's a framework. It's a way of teaching students to be independent learners. It is a way of teaching students to be independent readers and writers and really putting the responsibility and onus on the students to own their learning and to make choices within their learning um, that are appropriate for them. So it also teaches academic behaviors as well and teaches academic dispositions that will serve them well not only in elementary school, but middle school and high school as well. So it's very student-centered rather than teacher-centered. Uh, the teacher is just the facilitator of the learning, but it's a lot of independent learning. So it's a framework that instills behaviors of independence. It's also very highly engaging because rather than having lots of whole group instruction, the student is always doing something that is their work. So there's five, when they say the daily five, that means they're, they're gonna be doing five things each day at some level. One of those is that they're gonna be reading to themselves. Another one is that they are going to work on writing. Another choice a student might make is read to someone. Another choice is word work, and word work can be uh, grammar, it can be vocabulary, it can be um, any number of things, uh, and blending sounds, it can be phonics, obviously depending on the grade level and the age of the student. And then there's listening to reading, and that's usually done through technology where the student would listen to um, a story or, or something else provided by the teacher. So the idea behind the, the Daily Five is that, uh, that we're trying to make students um, produce and we're, we're trying to develop a true love of literacy. So we're trying to connect them directly to the books, to the stories that will make them um, love reading and love writing. Uh, you'll hear a couple of words a lot if you spend time in our classrooms. And by the way, this is being done in both English language arts classrooms and Spanish language arts classrooms. Two of the words you'll hear a lot are independence. And like I said, the whole focus of the Daily Five is to build up the independence of the students in their reading and in their writing. And so each day they will work a little bit harder to work a little bit longer by themselves and maybe a little bit longer by themselves or with a partner on whatever task they're working on. So one of the key concepts that you will hear students talk about at Paxson over and over again right now is the idea of stamina. I was in a third grade classroom substituting the other day and I kept doing this. I said, stamina, that I have stamina. And the idea is we can stick with it. We can do something for as long as it's comfortable and maybe even a little bit longer. And of course, we know different students have different levels of stamina. Some students could read for an hour and never get up and move around and fidget and they would be fine. Some students can do it for about three minutes before it becomes a challenge. But as we build up our stamina in the Daily Five, the teacher records and the students record the number of minutes they were able to stay on task and then they push themselves to go a little bit further as a class the following day or the following week to see how far we can push ourselves as, as individuals and as a collective group. So one thing 
you might want to ask your students about is how they, how their class is doing in building up stamina in reading and writing and how they individually are doing in, um, in building up their stamina in reading or writing. And maybe you can talk about how that feels, um, that it might be uncomfortable at first, uh, but if it's rewarding to see yourself build up stamina as you work on those muscles of sticking with something. All right, that's it for this week. I hope you have enjoyed this and found this useful. I will continue to do this. Uh, feel free to leave any comments on the YouTube channel or to email me if you ever have any questions or comments. Thank you and have a great day, Paxson Panthers.